being from Madison, being a Badger was always something that I wanted to do. So being able to just play in Madison and live out my childhood dream is something that, you know, I cherish. Tarek Baker, three minutes left in the third, scoreless tie, should have been scored! As your years go on here, you maybe take for granted um, your first couple years of what's going on. You always think, you know, okay, I got next year. But to be honest, you know, time flies and being able to get this fifth year uh, really put things in perspective for me of what being a Badger is all about. And, you know, it's coming into the rank every day, working hard. If they like get it and they step out this side, this when you start coming across. You know, you might not get the results you want, but it's pushing yourself each and every day, you know, in the weight room, in the classroom, on the ice, you know, it's just, you know, it's, it's hard work and that's the kind of thing you learn about um, throughout your years of maturing is that Badger hockey is more than just yourself. It's, you know, it's team oriented, it's team goals, it's about building on tradition. From the day he got here, he's been a guy that you can rely on in so many different situations. You know, his role has changed overall. Every single year it's been different. We've asked him something different of him. And every single year the response has been whatever you need, coach. And that's been his mentality. Uh, that's why he's such a great teammate. That's why he's been a captain for the last few years. That's why he's a guy that will be missed, but also has left his, you know, tremendous impact on the players that he's played with. I think. You know, if I'm a freshman, I come in and I learn from Tarek Baker, I'm learning from the right guy. Let's work hard and practice like we did all week. That's why we were prepared this weekend. So. He brings intensity every day. He brings, um, you know, competitiveness every single day. And guys look at that and say, if he's going to compete in, in every single battle, every single shift, every single practice, whatever it is, you know, you, you better do it too because he's leading the way and you better hop on and follow his lead. Being a captain, has been an honor and it's meant the world to me. The biggest honor has just been, you know, the the respect and stuff from the teammates and the and the coaches in the locker room and how much faith they have in me to lead this group. The little victories that we celebrated day in and day out. I've followed his lead since I've stepped foot on campus and um, he's done a great job of not only helping me become a leader, but a, a lot of other guys um, lead in their own ways and, and developing other guys. So he's been believable on and off the ice. It's been an amazing five years for him. You know, growing up was John Bice and Osiki and Robin Dringa having all those guys around um, from a young age uh, when they used to coach me playing mites, squirts, and I always knew how close the Badger family was and just how cool I thought the stories of them talking about, you know, going to a national title and playing in the Coliseum back in the day and then obviously growing up they'd take us to games and you get to watch the 06 team, you know, and guys like Adam Burrish, Robbie Earl, later on getting to see players like Craig Smith and Brendan Smith and what they brought to Badger hockey and how much it meant and seeing uh, the Cole Center packed with 15,000 was, to me, was something bigger than the NHL. So being able to play here and carry on that kind of tradition was something, you know, I've always wanted to do. Pride that he had in representing us uh, night after night, uh, not only on the ice, but in the community, in the classroom, is something that you look for in a student athlete and kid that's just given everything he's had to our program from the second he walked on campus.